Hello grade nines. Welcome to Two Mamina Teaching. My name is Nomveli Sokaka Poswa and I will be guiding you through this series of five lessons on exponents. In grade eight, you learned how to use exponents to write numbers in a shorter, simpler way. Now in grade nine, we build on those foundations to see how exponents work in algebra, not just with numbers, but with variables and expressions. So grab a pen and a book and let's take exponents to the next level. Suppose we have this expression. The variable x is the base and it's multiplied by itself five times. In exponential form, we we'll write it as x to the power of 5. Here, we have a multiplied by itself two times and b multiplied by itself four times. That means a is the base with exponent 2 and b is the base with exponent 4. We know that 2 is the exponent of the base a and that a with exponent 2 is called a power. We can say a to the power of 2 or a with exponent 2. The more common way of saying this is a to the power of 2. So in exponential form we write it as a to the power of 2 multiplied by b to the power of 4. Grade nines, this should look slightly familiar to what you did in grade eight. When we have more than one variable, we write them in alphabetical order. For example, here we see y times x. That's the same as x times y. Both simplify to x, y. Now look at this one. B times A times A. In alphabetical order, we write it as A to the power of 2 times B. We use alphabetical order so that everyone writes the expressions the same way. This makes algebra easier to read, compare and check even though the value doesn't change. Up to now, we've only worked with variables, but in algebra, we often see a number in front of the variables. For example, eight times m times m times m. This number is called the numerical coefficient. We call it that because it multiplies together with the variables. It's the number part of the expression. The base here is m, and since m appears three times, the exponent is three. So in exponential form, we write it as eight m to the power of three. Notice the difference. m to the power of three means m is multiplied by itself three times. 8m to the power of 3 means that result, the coefficient multiplied by the power. Now let's try one together. Here's the expression. Before I show you the answer, Pause for a moment and see if you can use what we've learned to write this in exponential form. All right, let's check it step by step. Let's group the factors. The base two appears three times, so we write two to the power of three. The base P appears once, so we write p. Remember grade nines, in algebra, we always write the letters in alphabetical order after the numerical coefficient. Next, the base q appears two times. So we write q to the power of two. And then 
the base R appears two times, so we write R to the power of 2. In exponential form, we write this as 2 to the power of 3 times P times Q to the power of 2 times R to the power of 2. A reminder grade nines, the number comes first, then the variables in alphabetical order. P, then Q, then R. Remember grade nines, alphabetical order in algebra is important. Let's practice what we've learned. Some questions are in exponential form, so you need to expand them. Others are in expanded form, so you need to write them in exponential form. Now pause the video, complete the table, and press play to check your answers. Okay, grade nines, we have come to the end of our first lesson on exponents. We've seen how exponents make repeated multiplication shorter and neater and how they work with both numbers and variables. We've also learned about bases, exponents and coefficients and why we write variables in alphabetical order. Remember to test yourself after this lesson. Click on the link and complete the self-marking assessment in the description below each lesson. Wherever you're learning from, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on our next lesson. See you next time!